Welcome everyone. This video is going to be uh, an upscaled version, so the uh, 12 volt variety of this um, yeah, smaller um, AA battery variety. So this is just to show that you can use, I mean that's, that's a, a tiny little light. Uh, so we're going to use this uh, little spotlight. LED spotlight. So first of all the voltage for the 12, bank, 12 volt bank which so I've got two batteries here in parallel as shown on the schematic there. So those two batteries are in parallel. The voltage on those is 12.2 volts so they're flat um, I think 12.1 is considered as low as you should go with those. So they're flat. So use that as an example to show uh, that the power is actually being transferred and, and that voltage on, on those batteries on a 12 volt set will increase. Uh, to be fair, I will show you the voltage of the charged set of batteries and so connect that onto there and then the positive onto that set of batteries so we've got those jumper cables coming over to the meter and those set of batteries are at 13 volts all right so they're fully charged so now i will take that off there and I will place on a jumper to make that bank into the 24 volt bank that it needs to be um, probably would have been clever of me to find the jumper first okay here we go so Connect those two batteries together and we'll show that voltage again and so that should now be 24 volts I'll change that to the corresponding measurement on the meter connect that up and so now we should see yeah, two fully charged 13 volt batteries so we're looking at 26 27 volts all right now i will disconnect those and place them back onto the flat battery set and now to get this the same way as it is on this schematic here we need to connect the two positive rails. I'm going to run this off of the negative rail. As you can see in the schematic here, I've actually got it on what is considered the positive rail. Positive comes from this set of batteries, goes across through the light and comes down into the positive terminals of the flat set of batteries. So the more efficient way to run this is to place this light here in the negative rail the same way i've done with the little one okay so to do that i need to connect the two positives together so we've got positive line coming from there we should connect that on to the other side of the positive okay so positives are connected now now all we need to do is connect the actual light and to achieve that that goes from negative to negative all right so we need to put the positive connection of the light onto this negative here and we shall double check the voltage My meter probe just fell down so I'll pick that back up connect that so we're still showing a voltage of 12 volts 
12.2 volts, so that's still flat. So now what we'll do is connect this connection here onto the charged battery set and that will connect those as per the schematic oops sorry should have warned you about the bright light all right so that is now transferring power so we can see i'll turn that around so that's transferring power on the low side oh, sorry on the negative side and we now see that that will start to climb uh, very slowly of course because the light doesn't really chew that much power if you use a uh, load like a, a light that it chews a lot more power than that then it'll transfer faster um, but there we can see it's going up now 1227 and the light will stay pretty much that intensity um, for the entire duration uh, until these batteries, um, the drive batteries over here. So and I'll flip that light around again, otherwise we can't see anything. So these drive batteries here, um, when that gets down to, uh, what would it be? It'd be um, uh, 24.2 volts. Um, then that would be time to disconnect those that set of batteries otherwise they if you continue to flatten them beyond that they will be damaged the thing about lead acid batteries is you can only use 50% of their rating um, once you get down to lower than 50% capacity you're actually damaging them permanently so there's very little recovery from that situation so yeah that's just to show the same as this little little guy that's just the big version um, hopefully soon in the next couple of days I will do uh, use this concept of energy transfer and, and the reason why this is so cheap is because I'm not actually burning that power in that light and that's at full brightness as you can see you know, I'm, but I'm not using that power that power is going through this positive connection from one bank of batteries to the other bank and then continuing its route back through the negative rail so as you can see there continuing to charge so when this is done when this battery set here is down to 24.2 i'll disconnect this light all of that or nearly all of it say 99 percent of that power will then be in this set of batteries and I can just swap this set for that set and I'll keep going and keep recycling my own power that I've already paid for just keep reusing it for as long as that process goes on, on the little guy it's uh what is it uh, um 95 days today that that's been running 24 hours of the day I don't ever turn that thing off. I never turn that off. Okay. Other than when I take the batteries from this side and put them in that side, that's the only time that light goes out. And that takes me less than 30 seconds to achieve that. And so that's the only time that that light's been off in 95 days. So same deal with this one. I don't believe this will last 95 days why waste your power at all if you can just send it from one set of batteries to the other it's like having a tall glass of water with a short glass of water as long as those two glasses are the same capacity those batteries are the same capacity this bank has to be double in voltage to this bank um, and and that's all there is to it and you know, you can redo this as many times until until one set of batteries is genuinely flat and then recharge it all right guys thanks very much if you got any questions don't hesitate to ask and um we can see we can help you out what's the voltage now 12.33 and climbing have a nice day